time to prepare another delicious meal. Don't move or I'll shoot. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hmm, do I choose the frying pan or the milk to protect me? So if you're home alone and someone breaks in, what can you use as body armor? Can you use like a frying pan or... So we're going to test that today. We don't, we're not going to shoot the frying pan. So we have a big, like three foot Chinese wok set up downrange. And we're going to shoot it with a 22 and 9 mil and a full metal jacket, 769 by 39, to see if any of them will stop the bullets. We've been doing a little uh, penetration test here on this wok. Out down the range, we have the three foot wok to simulate a frying pan right there, that big brown circle. And then so you got Chris with his 9 mil with the uh, bolt open. <laughs> um, right. He's going to take a few shots. <laughs> okay. Shall we go have a little peek? Some serious ricochets on that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we're coming up to the target. And I can see two holes clear as oh, day. Yeah, they, they ripped right through there. Ah, the 9 mil went straight through the walk. And this is tough, like I was jumping on this earlier. Um, okay, that wasn't even a challenge. That, they did punch right through. Smash through that yeah. thing. Yeah. Okay, so 9 mil. Doesn't stand, the frying pan, the wok, doesn't stand a chance. Okay, we'll go test uh, 22. Okay, so we've got the 22 on the lineup and we're going to see if the 22 at 100 yards can penetrate our frying pan. Yeah, I'll take two shots at the frying pan. That was a hit. I can't see if it penetrated though. Oh, I knocked off a whole bunch of rust. I don't know if it penetrated the frying pan. We'll have to go and take a quick peek. Okay, so let's see if our frying pan helped the 22. Right there. So yeah, we got two hits, one and two at 100 yards, and they did not penetrate. They left pretty big dents. So nine mil easily penetrated. So these are the nine mil holes. This is from a 762 by uh, 39, so they're kind of like an AK. And you can see how thick the steel is right there. So obviously that ripped straight through. Didn't even um, dent the metal, really. The nine mil did, but they kind of look like they blew their way through. The metal's heavily dented around it. And then the 22, no luck. Yeah, then we'll do this penetration test on these uh, milk jugs that we've got here to see how much water uh, this nine millimeter Ruger will go through. Okay, so the frying pan got absolutely destroyed by the nine millimeter. So, um, you know, if you're in your kitchen and you have to grab a four liter jug of milk, We'll see if to the nine. To defend yourself, yeah. We'll see <laughs> to defend yourself, yeah. We'll see if a ju <laughs> if one jug of milk or maybe two um, will help you. Okay, so downrange we have three jugs of milk lined up. That's what those white dots are, there and there. So what Chris is going to do is he's going to have a little shoot at the those jugs to see how much how many the nine mil penetrates. Oh, looks like he hit. Yeah. Yeah. Shall we go have a little peek or do you want to wait? Okay, so here we go, coming up to the jugs. We'll see what the 9 mil did. Okay, I can see straight away. The second one has just been ripped completely in half. And the third one, it, it looks, looks like, like it, it, go through there. it glanced out the side. Oh, did it? Yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah, so I yeah. guess the water... Okay, well, yeah, so it actually went through three of them because... They're... Wow. That's powerful. I did not think it would go through even two of them. Let's see how it does against our four liter jugs of milk, the little 22. Okay, that was a direct hit, so let's go check it out. Yeah, that's true, who knows yeah. if it might actually get past that. Okay, so here is the milk jugs. It didn't make it through the third one. So, yeah, it went in there, I see a little hole. So it went clean through the first one. It definitely went into the second one, and I don't see a bullet in there. Oh yeah, okay, I see. Oh, it wouldn't. There is a hole. Okay, so it's out. It's leaking. So the bullet is actually in the it's third inside. jug. Yeah. 
So I didn't make it quite through all three, but uh, yeah. If you have three milk jugs, or maybe if you have two and you hold them in front of you, you could kind of use them as bulletproof for 22. Okay, so just for fun, Chris is gonna have a little shoot with the Type 81 at, um, the, at three milk jugs at about 50 yards. So it should easily penetrate, but we will see. Oh ho ho! <laughs> Absolutely nice. destroyed it. <laughs> nice. Here's a quick overview of the results. The 9mm penetrated the frying pan and went through all three uh, one gallon jugs of milk. The 22 didn't penetrate the frying pan and only went through 2.5 gallon jugs of milk. The 762 by 39 it went right through the frying pan, not even denting it and it uh, went easily through three jugs of milk.